Hello, and welcome to this session of Hayes University, presented by Hayes Mechanical, your partner in providing best-in-class commercial HVAC, plumbing, and industrial mechanical services for over 100 years. In today's session, we'll cover the chiller replacement project we completed for a client in downtown Chicago. Before we review the process involved with replacing these chillers, let's discuss why a decision was made to replace this equipment. This property has two 250-ton air-cooled chillers, with one chiller serving each tower. This client experienced some failing tubes in the evaporator bundles of both chillers, which were identified after performing an eddy current test on each bundle. An eddy current test is a non-destructive test used to inspect conductive tubes for defects, cracks, corrosion, and other imperfections. A probe, which emits an electrical current, is placed into each tube, and changes in the current will help identify defects and abnormalities. Due to the age of the equipment and costs associated with replacing the tube bundles, the best course of action was to replace both chillers. Now, let's look at the steps involved with this project. We begin each day by completing a job safety analysis report. This report helps us identify any potential hazards and how to eliminate or mitigate them. We start this process by shutting down the chiller and performing a lockout tagout procedure at the main switch gear. We recover and dispose of all refrigerant from the chiller per EPA guidelines. Drain all water from the chiller and associated piping. Remove the supply and return piping. This client also elected to have the vibration isolators replaced during this project, which we included as part of our pre-lift prep work so that both chillers could be removed and replaced in a single day. For this process, we cut the welds on each vibration isolator, lifted the chiller with a hydraulic jack removed the old vibration isolators, set, measured, and aligned the new vibration isolators, set the chiller back down, welded them back to the structural steel, and secured them to the support columns. Now that the pre-lift prep work has been completed, we're ready for the crane to remove and replace the chillers. A permit from the City of Chicago was obtained to perform this work and to shut down the street and sidewalks for the safety of everyone in the area. Prior to the lift, we hold a pre-lift safety meeting to discuss the lift plan, discuss the roles of each person involved, and to identify any potential hazards. The crane then begins its setup process and staging of the equipment. The chiller is rigged to distribute the weight of the load evenly and the tagline is secured so it can be safely guided off the roof. The chiller is then placed on the flatbed on the street below so it can be hauled away and disposed of properly. The new chillers are then rigged lifted, and set in place. The footprint of these new chillers was nearly identical, so no structural or support modifications were required. After the new chillers have been set, we can weld the chillers to the steel frame, reinstall the supply and return piping, and install new hangers to support the piping. After the piping has been installed, we can reinstall the heat trace and insulate the piping. Electrical and control wiring is then connected to the new chillers. The chillers are then filled and vented. Then the chillers are ready for factory startup. Once the chillers are online, Operational inspections and tests are performed to ensure the system is operating per the manufacturer's specifications. This chiller installation project allowed our client to receive a rebate of over $33,000 from the local utility energy program. Plus, these chillers will help the facility save thousands of dollars each year on their electricity bills. Are you interested in saving energy and money on your next project? 
Contact your Hayes Mechanical representative today to learn how we can help you save time, money, and energy. Thank you for tuning in today for this session of Hayes University. If you would like to see future episodes, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.